for everyone that says that the the 1970s moon landing was fake, that it was done in a Hollywood studio somewhere, what do you say to them? Well, I have several replies. One of them is, isn't it amazing that our technological and scientific achievements are so great that members of the civilization that created it are in denial of it. <laughs> what a compliment to how far that technology has come. Nice. What a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you for the compliment. That, that, it's, that it's mystery and magic to you done on a Hollywood set. What a, what a compliment that is. But <laughs> two other re responses. So this is a joke, actually. This next one is a joke, but it's, it's a fun joke. So... Uh, so NASA goes to Hollywood, and they say, okay, we, we got to fake this moon landing. So what, what will it require? Yeah. And they said, well, we got to do this, and we got to we have to actually have a launch, all right, because people see the launch, and we got to do this. Right. We got we to have a set, and we have to evacuate it, and so that the dust falls quickly, and have to put them on point joists so that they look like it's not, it's, it's not regular gravity. And, and we, but we did all this research, and we, we concluded – that this, what's way simpler than that is to film it on location. <laughs> okay. So they filmed it on location. They, 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 they faked it on location. All right. So the, the third one is um, there's 10,000 scientists and engineers, plus, plus or minus a few thousand. There's, you saw the launch. You can calculate how much fuel is in that rocket. The rocket is 36 stories tall, and the astronauts are up here. And the rest of that is fuel. Mm -hmm. It's a controlled bomb, basically. And they're right here. All right. And then they launch. And we have warehouses of engineering drawings trying to get this Saturn V off the ground. And all of the, the, the preliminary ones, you've seen the videos of rockets exploding on the launch pad. Thankfully, no one was aboard. There were test runs. So all of this is happening leading up to the Saturn V rocket. So there it is. I would submit to you that to fake all of that would require so much effort that you might as well just do it. Okay? And calculate how much fuel this is. That's enough fuel to go into orbit, go to the moon, orbit the moon, come back to Earth. That's how much fuel is actually in the rocket. Mm -hmm. And it launched. Where do you think it was going? To, like, the, the, the Piggly Wiggly? The, to get groceries? Where do you think this rocket was going? I'm sorry. I'm screaming at you here. Sorry. One thing that all conspiracy theorists have in common, all of them, mm -hmm. is they already know the answer that they want hmm. and where they don't have data to support it they invoke a cover-up hmm. and that enables them to gap across places that they cannot otherwise support with data i had a friend who a full-grown man otherwise rational said to me you know i don't you know i've read the websites that uh, the doubt that we landed on the moon, and they're pretty convincing to me. But if you tell me that we landed on the moon, I'll believe you. And I said it has nothing to do with my authority over information about what you should believe. It was interesting because he respected me enough that my simple statement would over... I, I asked him, what evidence do you seek that would have you believe that we landed on the moon? He said, well, if we had photos of the landing sites, because you can't do that from Earth because the, through the atmosphere, the resolution is not fine enough to see that. But I, we, the Japanese have sent satellites that orbited the moon and reconnaissance satellites. They got, I said, um, there's this satellite. And, uh, and four years ago, whenever I had this conversation with him, it got images and you can see the landing site. You can see the tracks from the rover and you can see the – all right. And he said, okay, so he goes. And the next day, he said, Neil, I saw that website. And, but I noticed that the NASA logo was also on that website, along with the Jap JAXA, all right? <laughs> and so I don't know if I can trust it. I said, you asked me what evidence would convince you. 
I just presented you that evidence and you're not convinced. There's nothing more this conversation can do. I can't, I, I can't, you, there's, yeah, we're done here. We're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs>